Hey guys, check it out. I finished my first custom LCD. And so in this video, I'll, I'll talk about the steps that I took to produce this. And check out my other videos if you're interested in more of the in-depth info. I'm building this out of microscope slides, and so the first step is to clean them really well. So I load the slides into an acetone bath in an ultrasonic cleaner. Next, I blow the slides dry with argon and then load them into a vacuum chamber. This chamber is set up to deposit a conductive coating on the slides that's clear, and it does this through a process called sputtering. After this process is done, the slides are fully coated with this conductive coating, as we can see here. In order to make the display look like something, in order to actually get a graphic in there, what we want to do is remove some of the conductive coating so that we have uh, a shape that we want to display. To do this, I coat the entire slide with a photoresist and then dry it on the hot plate. Next, I put the slide onto a ultraviolet exposure rig and shine ultraviolet light through a pattern onto the photoresist. After the exposure is complete, I submerge the slide in a developer solution which develops the photoresist and then submerge it into an etching solution which will remove the conductive coating where we don't want it. This display is made with two slides sandwiched together but only one of them needs to have the pattern on it so the other slide is still fully conductive all the way across. Next I apply another layer of photoresist on top of the conductive coating in order to make electrical contact with our power supply, I remove the photoresist over a connection pad. And then one of the slides is rubbed with a cloth parallel to its length, and the other slide is rubbed perpendicular to its length. This will allow the liquid crystal molecules to align properly. To assemble the stack of the display, we start with a polarizer, and then the uh, solid electrode, and then uh, put a drop of liquid crystal on it, and put the patterned electrode on top. This is followed by another polarizer and the display starts working. Most of the steps in this process could be done by anyone at home except for the deposition of the conductive coating. You can buy glass already coated with a conductive layer on eBay so it's very possible to make your own display without worrying about the vacuum deposition step. If you already make PCBs at home, this will be a, a very small modification to your usual process, and you'll need just a few extra chemicals to do the patterning. I've seen that you can also purchase liquid crystal on Alibaba, and some of those guys list a minimum order of just 30 grams, which is about 30 or 40 dollars worth. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see other people making custom displays like this. Okay, see you next time. Bye.